Hi everyone, time for this week's reading to give you hopefully some insight, motivation, whatever you may be questioning or struggling with. Hopefully you can get your answer this week. So here we go. Feeling so good. We had our concert last night and it was beautiful. Ah, I'm coming back refreshed, renewed, and ready to get some new projects for myself going. So, feeling the motivation, but let's see what the cards have in store for us this week, Leah. What do you need? And we got four. All right. Four, four. Four. Well, there's a reason that I said that. Four, four, four. So maybe somebody needs those numbers. <laughs> okay. Healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. Stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. These two now, I'm, okay, these two are kind of connected. They're all connected, but these two specifically, life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. And be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Okay, so here um, we've probably got a little bit of different things, a whole thing, but things going on here. So stress, that's one of the biggest things here. Uh, stress, I mean, is pretty much revolved around everything. All of this, all of life, but here in the cards they're showing. If you don't have the healthy communication in your relationship, your partnership, then that's going to stress you out. If you're stressed out, you're not going to have the healthy communication in your relationship. If you're stressed out, you're not going to realize the life lessons that are coming through what we may perceive as bad times or hard times. There's always a lesson and blessing to be learned. So... In the end, it's like it happened for a reason to help you grow or to bring out underlying issues that may need to come to fruition. And this also, if you're stressed, you're not going to treat yourself well. If you're not treating yourself well, you're going to be stressed. <laughs> so all of this is really, I'm feeling, based around stress. So... So much here can be rejuvenated. Your relationship, your, um, your, um, relationship with your partner and yourself. The more stress reduction you have, just letting yourself, your mind, body, and soul recharge and revive. You need the rest and to just recharge and everything else will fall into place like you can take care of it easier and just realize see these two are also tied together if you that your life lessons um if you just realize they can be a blessing in disguise or just a growth period um and break free of the negative patterning of just thinking it's all terrible and bad 
but really there's something coming from it, then it'll help with that. I mean, this is the biggest thing. Everything revolves around it, okay? Okay, so if you're not familiar with the videos, I'm going to do our, um, oh, well, okay, our weekly, let's see, we're going to connect to our beautiful, loving, angelic guides, angelic realm, and they're going to bring through a message. So if you would like to fast forward about a minute or two, it usually takes to transmission that. So I'll be here right here in a moment for this go. It is in honor that we bring the message of love and hope through all beings. You must take care of who you are. Listen to your soul. It calls upon you to restore and give it the attention it yearns for. This is your truth. You're the, your true essence of who you are. You must try to see that she calls deep within. She wants to be heard, and she is always there with you. Let her out. Let her be seen. She is your highest, best, most beautiful self. Love is the way. Love yourself, your family, your children. These are what make you whole and true to you, beautiful ones. We are here. We are listening. Ask and you shall receive. Okay, beautiful. <sighs> All about loving ourselves or 
family, our children, and being who we truly are. Okay, and so we've got our parting card. Okay, spend more time outdoors. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves n never wither and they prosper in all they do. Maybe that's the de-stressor, huh? Nature, being in that beautiful nature feel. Yes. All right, guys. That's it. Love you all. Bye.